Guys, today is our annual Jaeger Christmas decorating party. Let's decorate! <laughs> All right, guys, we have so much going on right now. The kids are super excited. They love decorating for Christmas. I get a little bit stressed when it happens. We have stuff everywhere around this house. Here's some ornaments and some stockings. A huge ladder. So that we can reach the tippy top. It's so high up there, guys. We have stuff over here in the corner. Something scary in the kitchen. This cute little tree. Parker thinks that her special tree needs an Olaf nose in it. And then we have a special third tree in our formal room. Guys, we have so much to do. And I'm really worried that we're not gonna get all of our decorating done tonight, even though I want to, because we are running out of time. Guys, I don't know why my mom is so stressed right now. Every year when we decorate for Christmas, everything goes so smoothly. Things just happen so fast. I don't know what she's talking about right now. I think we have magical Christmas decorations. Guys, it's hard to explain. I'm just gonna show you. Guys, watch this wreath really carefully. See guys, and that's just the start of it. So many cool things happen. Every year our stockings hang themselves. Seriously guys, it boggles my mind. They're pretty though. Don't forget about these stockings. Guys, isn't this cool? Wait, I forgot something. There's more like it. I can decorate. I know some. We are doing a tall work. We can't forget our felt tree. Not bad, but I'm still not done. Looks awesome. We also have a magic Christmas table. I don't know how it works, but it happens every year. All I do is set the table with this stuff. I walk away for a few seconds. I come back, and this happens. See, magic table. Guys, every year our formal Christmas tree freaks me out. I take turns flicking these ornaments at the Christmas tree. And by the end of the night, it looks like this. And that's how we decorate for Christmas. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So why is mom so stretched and tired? Um, seriously? I guess after all our hard work, we deserve some hot chocolate. Thank you, sir. Easy peasy, mm -hmm. man, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I love you, too. 
So guys, I really, really do actually enjoy decorating for Christmas and doing all the little details. It makes me happy. Um, and I don't mind doing a lot of it on my own. But one thing that I save for the entire family to do every year is the big Christmas tree. It's good to we listen to Christmas music, we drink hot chocolate, and we decorate. The big one! Everyone grab some ornaments and let's decorate! Oh yeah! The, the most ornaments on the Christmas tree! Mm -hmm. um, I like to hang all my ornaments in a wall. I'm gonna hang my giant ornament so her mom can't move it. Must be a new trend. Our tree's coming along. Look at all those decorations. <gasps> Guys, someone shut the door. Sure. I think someone might have sent it to us. Wait, what if it was Santa? What if it was the doll maker? The doll maker? Guys, if it was the doll maker, I don't want to bring it inside at all. But if it was Santa, we need to bring it in. All I know is that I am freezing. Let's just bring it inside and then we can kind of figure out what we're going to do with it once it's inside. I can get it. Get it. it looks like no one in our family is going to be able to lift it, but dad, that thing is heavy duty. And taller than I am. Oh, it's so strong. Time to bring in the big guns. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I need to work out. What are we gonna do with this thing in our house? It's so cold, I think it came from the North Pole. On Santa's sleigh! Or the doll maker's workshop. All right, we got it in the house. Now we have to decide what we're gonna do with it. All right, guys, let's take a quick vote on what we should do with it. Raise your hand if you think it's from Santa. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think it's from the doll maker. Her hand went up twice. I don't think it's from either. Maybe someone else sent it to us. <laughs> I know a way to test it, if it's from the doll maker. If it moves around, it's definitely from the doll maker. Let's go to a different room and see if it moves. Well, the nutcracker's still here, so maybe it's really not from the doll maker. Guys, are you sure there's no one in there? Hello? Spying on us? Watching our every move? I don't think anyone's spying on us. What's this? I know! Then Boom! Guys, seriously look at this. It says property of T 
see. Maybe the doll maker did send it. Thanksgiving is officially over. The kids don't have school. We are decorating for Christmas. We are eating delicious, yummy Thanksgiving leftovers. And we have something pretty fun planned today. Steven and Steve are gone out and about right now, so it is going to be a little lunch date with me and the girls. We will wait for them to get home, we'll do a few last minute things around the house, and then we're heading out to do some Christmas shopping. Lunch is done, the girls are upstairs playing, and Steven and Steve still aren't home yet, so I'm going to tackle this beautiful tree. Um, the kids put the ornaments on for me, but I like to go around and make sure that too many colors are spread out and things aren't touching, and just kind of uh, move things around for a little bit, so I'm gonna be working on that while they're upstairs playing. And unfortunately, this tree is so, so tall, so I have to climb up on this humongous ladder to be able to reach all of the ornaments that I need to move. Ah, it's a good thing I'm not too scared of heights. Alright guys, baby Blake is awake from her nap. Dad and Steven are just about home and we're gonna head on out. <laughs> now that Dad and Steven's back, we're gonna do something awesome. You're welcome. Guys, every year we let the kids draw each other's names out of a bucket and buy presents for each other for Christmas. Let the Christmas festivities begin. Steven. Blake, Peyton, Jordan, Taylor, and Parker. Line up so we can draw names. All right, this year we will be drawing oldest to youngest. So Steven, you go first. I got Jordan. I want a lot of sequin, a sequin pillow. I don't even know what that is. I can't do this one, it's me. Taylor drew herself. Woo! Are you gonna buy a present for yourself or redraw? Uh, totally buy a present for myself. Cause I can buy myself a phone. Oh yeah. I'm the boss, draw again. Taylor. Ah! Stop putting it back in the bucket. Final time. Hopefully. I drew Peyton's name. You what? I got Blake! Steven. I'm gonna get you what you want. What do you want? Parker, are you ready? Okay, mm -hmm. here you go. I want that Parker. You wanted Parker? I guess Parker wanted to draw her own name. <laughs> I got Taylor. Mm. And last but not least, Blake, it's your turn. <laughs> she wants the bucket. Blake got Parker. Let's go shopping! Guys, 
guys, I wanted to show you outside. It is raining and I think pretty soon it's gonna turn to snow either tonight or tomorrow sometime. So we may have our first snow of the season. Hopefully you guys remember the names that you drew because I've forgotten already. I think they all drew dad. All right guys, we are here at Walmart, our favorite place to go shopping. There's lots of toys here and the kids will be able to find everything that everyone wants. Um, we're all ready to go. Steve is getting Parker out of the car. It is freezing, it is raining, and we're gonna run inside. The Toy Shop! Guys, I'm regretting coming to this store on one of the busiest shopping days of the season, of the entire year. What were we thinking? There are toys everywhere. All right, Steve, we need a strategy. We have way too many kids and just the two of us. We're gonna have to split up so that they can buy for each other. I did you take, Steven and Taylor. <laughs> you take all of them and I'll take Baby Blake. Uh, I already have Baby Blake. I have Steven and I know exactly what to get him. Oh, he would totally fit on that, guys. It's cool when you look at it. All right, we are doing our Christmas shopping. Parker thinks she's buying toys for herself, but she's not. We are here to get presents for those other three. We are right now looking for Blake, and there are so many options. I'm picking for Blake. Yeah, you don't mind. I bet Steven will want this. You think Steven will want that? Oh, look at how cute it is. Ah! Steven's kind of hard. I really don't know what to get him. I don't know what he wants. Tell me about it. Daddy, Blake likes phones. Oh, what do you have there? Oh, that's nice. Phones are a good option. Let's keep looking at some other toys, though. Dad, look. Dream on drums. Look at drums. Let me see. Let oh, my see. goodness. She could be a little drummer. The little drummer girl. I think Peyton might want this toy. Uh, if I was Blake, this is what I would want. It's a megalodon, a great white shark. A big giant shark. Yeah. I think Steven forgot that Blake is a baby girl. I don't care. They're all shopping for themselves. I think I found something for Peyton, but I'm not gonna show you because it's a secret. Let me see. No. No. And I just found something amazing for Steven. Really? It's amazing. Okay, we got Blake's gift. Now we had to get to get out for Jordan because I want these. All right, it is time to find something for Jordan. Parker is not going to get those though. It's too close to Christmas to be buying toys at the store. Jordan loves YouTubers and this is Ryan's toys. <laughs> Ooh. I love Ryan's toys. It is hard picking out presents for everybody. There's so many things to look at. Now all we have is baby Blake. She is buying for Parker. Taylor found her favorite cart again, guys. Last year when we were Christmas shopping, she found this cart, she found it again, and she loves it. All right, Taylor, go pick something out for Peyton. Let's get this. Wow, that toys must be big. Blake, you found something for Parker. We found the final and last gift of our group, and guys, it is the best. We found the best, best gift for Parker. One that she's been asking for forever, and that she is going to die when she sees it. All right, guys, I have the perfect gift for Jordan. She's gonna love it. Hello, Hello Neighbor. There is a Hello Neighbor toy. There are so many toys. Hello Neighbor, we love playing the game. Maybe that is a good present. She does love soccer stuff. Look how cute this is! Hmm. Well, maybe she would want something cooking instead. We picked out a present for Taylor. We're all done. I totally hope Steven got me this. 
All right, guys, Christmas shopping was successful. Dad is buying the gifts right now. We're hiding out here in the store for a little bit so that no one sees what they got. We're gonna head to go get some dinner because we're hungry. But thank goodness we got everything done without it going too late and without anyone having a meltdown. All right, guys, the kids were such troopers in picking out presents that we are going to treat everybody to some Olive Garden, some yummy dinner. Are you guys excited? Yeah! I can't even see you! Guys, there's a bunch of kids back there in the car. Are you guys excited? Yeah! I heard one no. <laughs> I guess Parker's not. We're here back in the corner because that's where they put big families that are loud in the corner. Thank you. That's a good thing. I get tea pizza. Where do you get? get an ice Whatever pizza. mom orders. It's so good to be together as a family tonight. Steve and Steven were gone most of the day, so it was just me and the girls, but it's nice to sit down, go shopping, sit down, eat dinner, and do all of those fun things. Wait, Mom, I forgot to tell you something. Something crazy happened yesterday. Guys, so in my video yesterday, I had to save Santa, and what I finally did, he told me some things that are really important. Is it something that we need to know, like Dad and I? Probably. So, I found, there's this guy out there that doesn't want any kids to get any toys. He wants to get keep them for himself. That's not very really nice. And guess what his initials are? T-C. <gasps> what? What does T-C mean? T-C was the same thing that was on the note that we found the day that we got the Nutcracker guys. Do you remember that? Of course. Guys, is a Nutcracker. Is that the new house? Guys, you wanna know what TC stands for? What's TC? It stands for Toy Collector. <gasps> That's not nice to collect the toys and take toys from people. Wait, what, is he after our toys? Not just our toys, but everyone's toys. And we don't know how to stop them yet. So that must mean that the Nutcracker was sent to us by the toy collector? What is the Nutcracker supposed to do? That's ironic that he's sending us a toy. There's gotta be something up. You know who else got Nutcracker sent to him? Smelly Belly and that YouTube family. Really? Yeah, do you guys think that the toy collector has something to do with them too? Probably. It would make sense. All right, guys, well, I guess we better get home and maybe discuss what's going on and what we want to do with these nutcrackers. We are done with our food right now, so we are going to head home. And everyone ate their dinner good, so they all get chocolate. Except for Taylor. All right, guys, dinner is over. It is late. It's time to head home and go to bed. I'm exhausted, um, but first, before we do that, guys, what do you think we end up doing with that nutcracker, that crazy nutcracker that's in our house? Let's wash it! To oh. fish it! I think it's nice. But it's obviously from the toy collector, so something's up with it. <gasps> Maybe it means that we take away our presents! He's gonna take away our presents? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I really wanna keep that thing around, so. We'll go home and we'll discuss it, I guess, and figure out what we're gonna do with the Nutcracker and what we're gonna do about the toy collector. All right, guys, come on, let's get inside the house and let's go to bed. <gasps> it's a Nutcracker on me!
family meeting. Something weird has been happening. This thing has been following me around. So I guess Peyton calls family meetings now. <laughs> I should do it, something's not right. What is that thing, Peyton? It's a giant bag. It's a Santa's bag? There's something in it. Well, if that really, really is Santa's bag and it has something in it, I say we definitely open yeah, it. Yeah, Mom. Open it! Open it! Open it! Yeah! What? I was hoping that was a present. Guys, it says Sodi Favor. Guys! That means open. it's that means it's for us! Guys, there's a card in here. Let's see what it says. Dear Sodi fam. Dear Sodi fam, I need your help. This year Christmas spirit is dwindling. And there is there are some people out there who are trying to permanently do away with Christmas spirit. Who will do such a thing? <gasps> I know! I think I know. Is it the toy collector? I don't like the toy taker. He stows our Christmas present. That's not nice. I need your help. I can't do it on my own. My special sack is empty. Christmas spirit is the only thing that can fill it up. If it isn't completely filled by Christmas Eve, Christmas spirit will be gone forever. No! Love, S.C. S.C.? S.C.? Am I Santa Claus? I love Santa Claus. Just like T.C. stands for the toy collector. Let me see this thing. So how does Christmas spirit fill the sack up? This thing is completely empty. I don't want Christmas to be canceled this year. That would be horrible. I really, really want to be able to help Santa out, but I really don't know what we can do to fill this up in any way. I think I know what's bringing down the Christmas spirit this year. Those nutcrackers back there. Guys, this shouldn't be hard at all. We have tons of Christmas beer. We should just do it. Do what? Sing Christmas carols! Let's go! Yes, this is my favorite thing to do! Bum, 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 Guys, that was amazing. Let's shake the bag! Maybe this will work. No! Uh, now I have less Christmas spirit. Thanks, Steven. Nothing says Christmas spirit like watching a Christmas movie. Grab the popcorn. And the hot chocolate. Yeah. All right, Christmas movie it is, I guess. Hopefully that will fill up Santa's sack. All right guys, it is getting super duper late. We don't have time to watch an entire Christmas movie. So we feel that maybe watching, you know, five minutes of it will work. So we're almost to five minutes. We're gonna turn it off and we're gonna check Santa's sack and hopefully there are presents in there, guys. We don't have all night for this. All right guys, I think that's probably enough. Let's go check Santa's sack. Uh, guys, there's still nothing inside the sack. We should fill this thing up with Christmas stuff. That would totally work. Follow me, guys. Guys, I have a feeling my whole house is going to get undecorated right now. This will work. Perfect. Alright guys, 
let's go see if this works. Oh my god, let's see what's in here. <coughs> what? Where did everything go? Look at that. There's gotta be something in here somewhere. Even the stuff you put in here is gone. We're obviously not understanding this concept of Christmas spirit. Guys, I'm worried that we don't know what real Christmas spirit is then. Maybe we should open all our presents from under the tree. I knew it too. Let's try to do good things for each other and see if that works. I'm making Steven's bed. Well, in that case, I'm cleaning up Pam's toys. What did she just say? Yes. I guess I'm gonna do Tara's homework. Uh, I'm not sure I want that. I'm just gonna organize your backpack, Taylor. <laughs> backpack officially organized. Just kidding, I actually know how to organize. I guess that just leaves me. Jordan, are you ready for a back rub? I've been waiting for this my whole life. Oh, my dip's getting next. Sorry, Dad. My good deed is done. Guys, we all have done something good for each other. I'm going to take Santa's bag. Guys, it looks like we better get to work. We only have a few weeks before Christmas Eve. Come on, guys. We gotta go bake some cookies, go get some supplies, maybe shovel some people's driveways, do all sorts of good deeds. Are you guys all up for it? I mean, I don't trust the toy collector either, but these are just, I mean, like, check this thing out. I can, like, it's just a piece of wood. There's nothing to it. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just don't want all of them, like, standing here, you know, looking at me. They're not really looking at you. <laughs> but if you don't like them all together, I get it. You can use them, like, decorators on them. Okay. I'm going to move them around the house, put them in different places, because I really don't like how they're just here all in one line looking sounds, creepy sounds good okay well you little guy i'm gonna go over here i guess i'll just put you in the kitchen or something okay there you go all right buddy it's your turn now so creepy you're gold so you'll probably look the best in my bedroom, I guess. 
What are you doing, Steven? Because we need to discuss this Santa's oh, oh, oh. bag. We got presents in it already. That is true. We did get presents for doing good things. We figured out that if we did good things for other people and each other, it fills up with presents. But guys, there's only four little presents at the bottom of Santa's bag. And Christmas is coming soon. We have to get this entire bag filled up to the top by Christmas Eve or... The toy collector will steal Christmas. I don't like the toy collector. That makes two of us. However, he does like the nutcrackers that the toy collector sent us. They're good looking. Okay, so I think that we need to be doing something really, really big because if doing little things fills up Santa's bag for gifts, I think if we did something really, really, really big in the family, we'd be able to fill it all the way up to your shop. Carolyn's! We can sing Carolyn's! What's a Carolyn? I go to school with a Carolyn. A Carolyn is when you sing to people. <laughs> it's called a Carol. My English teacher's yeah. name is Carol. Are you saying Christmas Caroling? Yes, are we gonna do that? I feel like caroling would be a good thing to spread Christmas cheer and do something good for others, so that is a good idea. There's also the Light the World initiative where we're supposed to give as Jesus Christ gave. Yeah, I learned about this where we're supposed to give to the world, the community, and our families. I feel like when we're trying to be good to those around us and we're trying to build Christmas spirit, that is like we're lighting the world. So I think it should be easy and fun for us to be able to do this. And I feel like you guys could help us out by trying to light the world and then maybe our Santa sack will get filled even faster and we'll be able to get it done by Christmas Eve. With you guys' help, we'll totally beat the toy collector. Take that! We should split up so we could do a bunch today. All right guys, it has been decided. We are going to try to fill up the entire Santa's bag in one day. I don't know if we can do it, but we're gonna try our hardest. Dude and I decided that we're gonna go caroling. And it's our first time. So hopefully after we go Christmas caroling, Santa's bag will be filled. But guys, it's snowing outside. So we need to get warm. Oh, jackets are all gone. This is where they always at. Are we not going to be able to go killing? Mom, Dad! What? Bro, why are you yelling? Oh, jackets are gone. Maybe we can find them. We can't find them. Why do you guys need your jackets? It's snowy, guys. We don't have jackets. You for sure. I'm sorry. 
Guys, that is so weird because we always keep all of our jackets here, but all of the kids' nice warm jackets aren't there. Did someone take the jackets? I think I know who did. Steven. Steven, did you take the girls' jacket? Um, I mean, I'm sitting on the couch. Did you take it earlier in the day? I took my jacket. Well, that's it. Jordan's usually the prankster, so maybe she's the one who did it. Jordan, are you pulling the prank? No way. Yeah, you are. All right, guys, we are running out of time. We need to find these jackets or we're not going to be going Christmas caroling. So everyone split up and look around this house for some jackets. in the car. Um, I decided to bring these little ornaments um, with us. It says light the world so we can give it to the people that we are caroling. And we decided that we need to practice before we actually do this thing. Okay, ready guys? One, two, three, hit it! We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All right, we got back from caroling. How did it feel, guys? Good. Did you have a good time? Caroling was a great idea and a great way that maybe we will be able to feel a little bit of Santa's back. So we are gonna go back home and we're gonna see if it worked. Everyone cross their fingers up high in the sky. Hopefully it worked. I did it. It originally had four in it, guys, and now it has like 30. So if Caroling did 30 presents, what is something else gonna do? All right, me and Taylor have the best idea to light the world. My mom has been reading us a book called The Christmas Jar. And in the book, a family saves their change for a whole year. And then around Christmas time, they give it to a family that needs it. So Steve is going through all of the change that we have saved for an entire year, guys. We're getting a good place. All right, guys, it is done. We went through all of our change and we got the good coins put in our jar. Um, everyone is eating a quick dinner, kind of. They're eating cereal for dinner real quick because we are gonna head on out and do some more good deeds. So eat your food, guys, and then we'll leave. Get to the car. Wait, 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 wait. The jar's gone. What? The jar's gone. Where'd you put it? I didn't touch it, guys. I Dad? didn't touch it. Mom, I didn't touch it. Mommy, it was the nutcracker. What? Guys, 
surface. I can't do my surface if we don't find the jar. Neither can I. All right, guys, this is becoming a bad trend right now. Everyone, look around the house for the jar of coins. I don't see that anywhere. Because you're not looking. Come on, help. All right, guys, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'll look upstairs. You guys keep looking downstairs. This is not good at all. We are running late. Hey, it's not up here, guys. Are you having any luck downstairs? I can't find it anywhere. Payne, do you know where it is? Really, guys, I don't know where it is. Going to check it. Are you kidding me? You guys find it? Yeah. Okay, you know what? I have a feeling that I'm getting rid of those nutcrackers. Okay, grab the jar and let's go. All right guys, we are at the house that we are going to be dropping our Christmas jar off at and Steven and Taylor are getting ready to do their service to light the world. Okay, so me and Taylor are about to do our service project, okay? We need to be super quiet so they have no idea. Which house are we going to? We're going to the... that house. <coughs> Come on. Let's go, Taylor. Come on, hurry. Okay, okay. Well, there's our service project. All right, guys, Steven and Taylor just got back in the car. We're driving away. We're gonna almost home. Once we get inside, we are going to see if Santa's bag is filled anymore. Hopefully it will be. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Look at all the presents in Santa's sack. Oh, guys, this is literally very heavy. Santa's sack is doubling in size every time that we have done a good deed. It is really filling up with Christmas spirit. I'm getting really excited. The day is almost over. Steve and I still need to do our good deed and we'll be doing that in just a little bit. But first we need to get the kids to put their jackets away, get their pajamas on and go to bed so Steve and I can go do ours. Guys, come here. Come here. Guys, I moved them earlier today. Weird, that one was on the counter. Steve, I told you these nutcrackers are no good. You guys seriously did not put these here? Maybe there is something weird with these nutcrackers. All right guys, I don't have time. Maybe a little bit later I will deal with these crazy nutcrackers. Um, Steve and I have to go get ready. You guys need to go to bed. All right guys, so I am super excited because it is mine and Steve's turn to do our good deed. We are actually going to an event tonight um, that's all about goodness and spreading goodness and um, the Christmas spirit and the true meaning of Christmas. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but I'm excited to go and hopefully, hopefully, Santa's Christmas bag will be filled with more presents after we do our outing tonight. These kids get to stay with Uncle Derek! Yay! Because unfortunately, there is no kids allowed, just adults. So we are running around the house trying to gather everything and get everything ready. And I just realized that I don't have my car keys and Steve does not have his car keys. We do not know if we're gonna be able to leave in enough time. Steve, you look downstairs, I'll look upstairs. Guys, who took my keys? You know what guys, unfortunately you never know in a family our size where you're going to find spare keys. So you have to look everywhere. Don't know where my keys are. 
All right, guys, honestly, we've been looking for like a half hour now and it is past time for us to leave. We were supposed to leave five minutes ago and we're not gonna get there in time for this event and our keys are gone. It was fun at first, trying to look around, thought maybe someone was playing a prank on us, but now it's serious, we're late, and I don't think we're gonna be able to do our good deeds, Steve. You don't think you wrapped up in our Christmas presents, do you? I've been wrapping all day, guys. I'm gonna open them up. No! Don't open up our presents! Don't, don't open, open up, up our presents! Up. Don't! Do you see that? What? <gasps> no! That's weird. I'm a little creeped out. Like, why would this thing have my keys in its mouth? No, don't. Can you get it out? No, they're like. No way. Hold on. It's got the little. It's. It was eating your keys. Guys, too many strange things have happened now with these nutcrackers and just weird things happening that's preventing us from doing our good deeds. I don't think I want them in our house anymore. But they are good looking. Do you have something to do with this big nutcracker? There's nothing there, Jimmy. Seriously? I don't know. It creeps me out. Things aren't working right. It just looks weird. He's huge. We gotta go. All right, guys. We have arrived at the event, and we are in downtown Salt Lake, where all of the beautiful Christmas lights are. There's the LDS temple and all of those beautiful lights. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so they just unveiled the new giving machines Which for are this super season. Cool. Yes, and so we will be able to go up to the machines and buy um, things that people are in need of. They have all sorts of crazy things. They have soccer balls, they have goats, cows, water. You can do tons of things that you can just purchase and donate. It's awesome. Yeah, so we are gonna go up to the machines. We're gonna pick a few things and that will be our good deed that we did for the day. Thankfully, we were able to get here and do that. And hopefully when we get back, we will see some more presents in Santa's sack. Yes. On to the giving machine. <laughs> Guys, we are finally made it to Our the turn. front of the machine. We waited in line forever and we are here. Giving machine! What are we doing first, Jamie? Steve wants the cow. I want the cow. You want the cow? We're doing the cow. Guys, we are buying a cow for someone right now. <laughs> You just bought a cow. My first cow. All right, what I want to buy is the empowerment pack for five girls because we have five girls in our family. So that is a must. This way. It's coming. It's coming. Boom. Empowerment pack. Check. All right, our good deed is done. Now it's time to get back to our kids. It's late and see if we got any more presents added into Santa's sack. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. All right, guys, we are home from our event. It was so much fun. I'm glad that we were able to go and do that. Hopefully, when we go inside, the kids are in bed, and hopefully, Santa's bag grew a little bit bigger. Like the size of a cow? Like the size of a cow. All right. Can we Steve? That's Santa's bag. Guys, Santa's bag is by the big nutcracker. Is it tied on there? It's like tilting. That's so weird. These guys are creeping me out. What is going on? Santa's sack is heavier though. Does it feel heavier? Well, I don't know if that's from us or from. Mm. Let go. Okay, let me see. Oh, he's so much bigger, Steve. Cool. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. It is so full. I don't even know, guys. This is so full.
the second story for the 12 days of Christmas and open the present. Yay! Notice all the girls are here, but none of the boys. Boys, last call to open the present. Finally. <laughs> So that just happened and it was pretty funny. And here's proof that he's all right. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> he laughed at himself. <laughs> and we all laughed at him too. Rudolph, that amazing reindeer. On a December night in Chicago, several years ago, a little girl climbed onto her father's and asked a question. It was a simple question. All right, guys, the story is over. Did you like it, Parker? Yeah, it was a story about Rudolph. A story about Rudolph? Mm -hmm. All right, so we do this every year, guys, and there's a present that they get to open that goes along with each story that we read. So let's open present number two. I got the second present. Guys, there's something wrong. Guys, that is really weird because I just went and bought those and wrapped them, put them under the tree the other day, and half of them are gone. I swear they were here just this morning. I swear it. Do you take it, Rebecca? All right, guys. Well, I don't know where the rest of the presents are, but we're gonna go ahead and open our number two present to see what's inside, and then maybe we'll figure out the mystery of the missing presents in a little bit. But it's Jordan's turn to open. I've been waiting for for this. All right, let's see what's inside. Wow, it's a box. It's okay. a box. I'm gonna open up the box. This is fragile. Uh, it's fragile, it's fragile. So be careful. Maybe we should have been pulling that box around. <laughs> what is it? What the? What is this? Guys, they got reindeer suckers that on the outside looks like a reindeer face. So look at Steven right here. He's Rudolph. That looks so weird. All right guys, in this video, we're gonna do as much as we can to fill Santa's bag. It's only halfway full and it's almost Christmas. And things are only gonna get worse, guys. The toy collector has said it. Who knows what that note means, but we are just gonna try our hardest today to fill up the rest of Santa's bag, guys. Christmas is coming super fast. Right now, there's only 10 days until Christmas. I'm so excited. Guys, I have the perfect way to fill up Santa's bag. So, last night, I got a ton of toys to give to a charity. It goes to help kids in need this Christmas season, and my dad's car is full of toys to donate. Guys, are you ready for this? To see all of the presents? Uh, is, where are all the presents? And, why is there a nutcracker in the car? Dad! Is this some sick joke? <laughs> Guys, this is not good at all. We're getting in the car and we're gonna go search for those presents. We had a car full of gifts that we were going to donate. Um, Steven has to go to basketball practice. He saw the nutcracker. We just shut it and we're leaving the house real quick. These nutcrackers are getting a little creepy. Steven, while you're basketball, we're going to go try and find those toys. Okay, thanks. Bye, Steven. Bye. <laughs> I think he's a little embarrassed of his mom. Guys, we are just driving around aimlessly because we really don't know where we're going or what we're looking for or anything like that at all. I think I saw something over there. Where? Over there at the park. The park? Okay, Steve, let's go to the park. Yep. All right, we just stopped at the park that Peyton told us to stop at. What was it that you saw? I don't know, but it was something weird. Okay, let's get out. Okay, let's get out, let's walk around together, stay close, and we'll see if we can find maybe the presents.
guys see anything? Hey, why are you seeing it? So it just looks like a regular playground. We haven't seen anything. I haven't seen any toys. I haven't seen anything weird or suspicious. Payton says she saw something that was kind of colorful and tiny and it looked kind of weird, but we haven't seen any of that. There's nothing here guys, um, it's cold. Let's go back to the car. We need to go pick up Steven. How was practice? Good. All right, get in. We did not find the toys. You didn't? No, we need your help. Come on. Okay. All right, so we got Steven and it looks like we're gonna be heading home right now. Whoa! What? Did you see that? I no, just saw something crazy out the window. You too? What do you mean me too? So Peyton, just before we came to get you, saw something at a park, and so we stopped and looked around, but we didn't see anything. What did, what it, did look it look like? Yeah, what did it look like? Uh, it kind of looked like one of our nutcrackers. What? Payton! What? What you saw at the park, did it look like a nutcracker? Yeah. I see a nutcracker. Uh, this is getting weird. Okay, we're gonna stop right here at the pond, and we're gonna look around. All right, guys, so we are here at the pond. Steven? Where yeah. are we going? You said you saw the nutcracker somewhere. What? Where did you see it? It's. It was like over there in the bushes. All right, let's go to the bushes. Girls, we got to look all over in these bushes. Steven said that's where he saw the nutcracker, okay? Yeah. You got yeah. it? Yeah. Steven, you check over by the bridge maybe. All right, I'm not seeing the Nutcracker anywhere. Have you found anything, Steven? Taylor? Such no. all over this place. We are looking idea. all over here. They're even in the water. Guys. Look at this. What are you guys doing? We're in the water. All right, hop out of there. Hey, guys, we got to get back. It's cold. I don't think there's anything here. I think maybe our kids are seeing things. Either way, let's get back to the house, and we'll figure out what we're going to do. I just, I don't know I where the presents will be. Like what, bud? I swear I saw something. We'll see. All right guys, once again, they did not see anything out there. We couldn't find anything, but there's something really weird going on and I think the Nutcrackers have something to do with it. So we are heading home right now and I have decided that we are going to gather all of the little Nutcrackers and get rid of them. Are you okay with that? I guess, we gotta do what we gotta do. We're getting rid of them. All right, kids, say goodbye to the Nutcrackers. Bye. All right, kids, everyone grab a Nutcracker and let's get rid of them. So here's the plan. We are going to get rid of all of these nutcrackers real fast and then we are going to go meet that YouTube family for dinner and discuss what's going on with the toy collector because we heard that they are also having issues with nutcrackers and the toy collector. So we're going to meet with them and come up with a better plan to defeat this toy collector and figure out how to bring back Christmas spirit. So how are we going to get rid of these things?
Say no, Nutcracker. I guess I'm gonna have to leave you at this random stranger's house. All right guys, so we successfully got rid of all of our nutcrackers. We are here at Cafe Rio where we are meeting with that YouTube family. We're gonna go tell them that we got rid of our nutcrackers and maybe come up with a better plan to defeat the toy collector. Guys, that is really weird because I just went and bought those and wrapped them, put them under the tree the other day, and half of them are gone. I swear they were here just this morning. I swear it. Well guys, that was a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting the toy collector to return those presents of ours. I thought they were gone forever. But we're still missing the presents that I'm supposed to donate. It's true. Well, I didn't know what we did to get our presents back, but let's open present number four. All right, give it to me and I'll read it, guys. I return these gifts because there aren't any toys in them, but I will give you one chance to get Steven's toys back. Solve this scavenger hunt by the end of the day and I will return them so you can give them away. T.C. John, John, John. Well, I guess the toy collector wants us to be going on a scavenger hunt looking for Christmas decorations. All right, so Steven, if we complete this list, we'll probably get all of the toys that you want to donate back. Guys, I know where we can find a ton of Christmas decorations. To the Jagermobile! I got the list and a marker. Let's go look at some Christmas lights. Jaeger road trip! All right, guys, so here are some of the things that are on our list. <clears throat> a snowman. Mickey Mouse, a reindeer with a red nose, a snow globe, Snoopy, Daddy, Santa. I, How are we gonna find Santa. guys? This is gonna be rough. Hopefully we are not driving around town all night long. I know where the Grinch is. The Grinch, guys, the Grinch is not on the list. I am totally corrected, guys. The Grinch is on the list, and I know where to find the Grinch. I do know. Don't you mean Whoville? All right, guys, we have our eyes peeled. We're looking everywhere. No way! Snowman! Snowman! Guys, we just left our house, and seriously, we found a snowman. Snowman, check. Guys, guys, look! <gasps> Snoopy! <laughs> we may not have to leave our neighborhood, guys. We've already found two items in the last two seconds. Guys, what kind of luck is it when right across the street from Snoopy, you find Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Minnie, Mickey, and Santa. We're cruising. I'm gonna get my presents back in no time. I found Olaf in the middle. Olaf. 
Olaf, 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 Olaf. No Olaf. Yes, Olaf. I found Olaf. Whoa! Whoa. The mother load. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, before we go to the lights, we're taking a quick hot chocolate break. It's necessary. Five tall hot chocolates. I should be taste testing these things. They just keep coming. Woo! There it is again. Looks just as good the second time around, guys. But it's even better because we have hot chocolate this time. And a dolphin! It's a what? Dolphin. We found a dolphin! Guys, we found a nativity scene. We just found tons of things all at once. We need to get our list and start checking them off. Dolphin. We need 11 more things to find. I found one of the good friends. Andy has a girlfriend. All right, guys, so we did the drive through one time, and now we are going to go walk in it and see if we can find any other things that we need to mark off our list. We're taking this thing seriously. Um, she has chocolate all over her face. <laughs> Guys, a nutcracker is guarding the entrance. The toy collector must not want us to come in here and solve the scavenger hunt, but we're doing it anyways. One more penguin! What? Who said that we would not find a penguin here? It seemed impossible, I'm not. Well, mark it off the list, Steven! Penguin? Check. I wonder the toy collector was guarding the gates because we're going to find everything here. Guys, Wait, Steve really said that we weren't going to find a penguin here. <laughs> and we did. Nope, there's no crocodile on the list. Look at that. I found the secret hidden elf. All right, Steven, read some things that we haven't found yet. A twinkly wreath, a snow globe, icicles, three deer together, colored lights on a tree, blue lights, the Grinch, green lights, and red lights. Parker found a loud elephant. It weighs 12,000 pounds. I found red, green, and blue lights. I found twinkly lights on a tree. All right, guys, this may be a stretch, but way, way, way down there, there's Santa's sleigh, and there are three deer pulling his sleigh. Check that off the list, Steven. Check. Guys, another nutcracker. I'm standing underneath. Icicles! Whoop-bam! You already got icicles. Oh, Mark it off the list. Guys, we need to hurry because the lights are gonna turn off soon and we have three more things we need to find. I don't think we can do it. I'm not sure you're gonna get your presents back. Um, is there any bears on the list? Mm -mm. What about salmon? Who's salmon? <laughs> Wait for me! I think maybe we should be the ones climbing this tree so we can get a better view. Maybe you should. I'm staying down here. Parker's been a little traumatized by these Christmas lights. Guys, we're in a tunnel of lights and it's awesome, but we could not find the last three things on our list, so I think we have to get in the car and go drive around some neighborhoods and hopefully we can find them before the end of the night or else Steven's not getting his presents back. All right, guys, we have made it back to the entrance with the Nutcracker. Everyone say goodbye to the Nutcracker. Goodbye. You haven't found them all, Nutcracker, but we're not done yet.
Guys, I see Christmas lights in the distance. Let's go. We are quickly running out of time, so we need to find the last three things on our list and get back home fast. All right, guys, so we have found a wreath and a snow globe. The last thing that we need to find is a Grinch. I thought the Grinch was gonna be the easiest one to find. Guys, we need to hurry. We're really running out of time. Yeah, guys, it is almost 10 o'clock. Um, we've been driving around everywhere and we have not found a Grinch yet. We need to find this last thing so that we can get the presents that Steven is going to donate so that we can fill Santa's bag with Christmas spirit. Because Christmas is in seven more days! I don't see anything. Do you guys see anything? Mm -hmm. I think people are turning their Christmas lights off, guys. I think it's getting dark and people are turning off their Christmas lights. I smell the Grinch. You smell the Grinch? Mm -hmm. Parker, are you sure that's not just Steven? It's maybe. When you see it, yell the Grinch. I don't see any. The, the Grinch! The Grinch! Look at that. The Grinch, check. Wait, guys, we're done! Yay! Yay! Let's go home and see if my presents are there. Come on guys, let's go see. Uh, guys, the Nutcrackers are back. Is that the presents are back, Big Nutcracker? Guys, I know exactly where to look. All the presents are back! Yes! Now I can donate them! And that for sure is gonna fill Santa's sack. Are you guys really back for good? Take a sack. Oh yes, I can. <laughs> All right, we've arrived at the Christmas box house and it's time to deliver the rest of our gifts. All right guys, we dropped off the last of our presents. Now it's time to go home and see if Santa's sack is filled to the top, guys. We are days away from Christmas and we need to fill it up to save Christmas spirit. Yay! 
Guys, just like we expected, Santa's bag is full all the way to the top. Show it off, Taylor. <laughs> Holy moly, look at that, guys. We filled his bag all the way up. Hey guys, did we just defeat the toy collector? Guys, so we filled the sack with Christmas spirit. I think we just saved Christmas. Blake, did we just save Christmas? Yeah, it looks like we filled it up pretty much, but there's still a little bit of space. I say we do one more good deed, just to be safe. All right, maybe we can do one more good deed, guys. We are cutting it to the wire. It is getting late, it is almost Christmas, but maybe we can fit one more in, but we have done so many things, I can't think of anything else idea. to do. What? Okay, so we go to a restaurant, any kind, which I hope, um, and then we will buy someone's food for that. I'm pretty hungry too, and that would be a good deed. I say we do it. All right, so the one thing I really, really love about this idea is that it's unique and it's something that we have never, ever done before, ever. And by then, this bag will be definitely full. That toy collector doesn't stand a chance. Everyone get to the car and let's go buy someone dinner. Woo! All right, all the Jaegers are in the car and now we just need to find a place to go eat. Cafeteria! We may have a problem, guys. All right, guys, we are at Red Robin. We got our appetizers. They're delicious. And we ordered our food. And we're scouting out who we're gonna buy a meal for. Guys, this place is full of people everywhere. Who should it be? It's so hard to decide. I hope we can pick the right family. And I hope I can pick the right dinner. I did. I did mac and cheese and orange pizza. I'm ordering cheese pizza and broccoli. Blake ordered a pretzel. We all got our delicious food, now it's time to eat. Let's eat. I am full but the food is good. And we've got someone to do a good deed for us. All right guys, food was delicious. We're getting our check. We're paying for someone else's meal, which feels really good. And then we're gonna head home and see if that helped fill Santa's sack even more. All right, we just got done. How does it feel to do a good deed for somebody? We need to find out if we filled Santa's sack all the way full. I bet we overflowed it. Goodbye, Red Robin. It was a blast. Now time to head home and see if Santa's sack is all the way full. What do you think, Steven? Let's do it. All right, guys, we are at the house, and before we go inside and see what has happened um, with Santa's bag, I just wanted to mention that we had so many fun times this year, and we did so many fun things together as a family. Uh, I just stole a car. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, go to jail. that I have been this whole year is when we have done things for other people and have helped light the world. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh Over the hills we go Laughing all the way ha, ha, ha. Going to the... that house. Guys, we are buying a cow for someone right now. <laughs> you just bought a cow. My first cow. So 
All right, let's get inside. That is so cool, guys. Guys, it's overflowing. Guys, we did enough good deeds that we were able to overflow Santa's Christmas bag. That's awesome. And the toy collector has been defeated. You can't ruin Christmas toy collector. Take that to the collector, I guess you 